Hello everyone, welcome to another video. Today I am here to talk about quite a controversial thing in my opinion. Um, and a video that kind of contradicts itself. But also does kind of prove a point. I'm very mixed on it. So, earlier on today, or yesterday, I was scrolling through TikTok and I saw this video come up on my For You page. Where it's this girl trying to get on a bus. And the bus pulls up next to the bus stop, as it should. And then the doors open, and then the bus doesn't, the bus driver doesn't extend the ramp. I'll just show the video here for you guys to see. But basically, the bus driver doesn't open the ramp, and the person's in a wheelchair uh, that's wanting to get on, so, you know, they, they can't get on. Now, the person in the wheelchair is already kind of complaining about the fact that the bus driver hasn't automatically gotten out and lowered the ramp. Um, and that's what I'm going to talk about first, but I'll also sum up the next part of the video where the bus driver puts out the ramp and then helps or pushes the person in the wheelchair uh, up the ramp and onto the bus. And I'll break it down into this two stages where it's the, the, the bus driver not opening the ramp, and then the pushing. Because I feel like these are two very different issues, and I feel like I should address them separately. So the bus driver pulling up and not lowering the ramp automatically is a bit off. You know, I think the bus driver should ask if the person wants the ramp lowered. Uh, every bus that I've seen and been on, I've not been on many, um, but everyone that I have obviously been on, uh, they've been pretty good and they've offered to help me on if needed um, and extend the ramp. I have never needed it though, um, but like, I, I've not needed it personally, but other people do and the fact that they've, the bus driver, for my case, has offered to do that for me is always good. Um, but this one time where the bus driver doesn't offer to do it. Now, they, they should do, they should offer. They should have at least offered, that is something that they should have done. But the person in the video doesn't handle it the best way, where they start getting, in my opinion, just from what I've seen, uh, not aggressive, but sarky. So are you going to put, what's happening? No, that's, sorry, the gap is way too big. Sorry, I, I can't jump. You know, um, and they're not handling it in the best way either. They're like, they're asking for them to put it out, which is fair enough. You know, if you need it, ask for it. You know, that is how it's meant to work. If they haven't offered it to you, ask. And that is good. Um, but I do feel like she put a bit of attitude into there, and that already isn't the best. And the bus driver doesn't even do anything about that. They don't do anything intentionally. Um, so that's the first bit, is the bus driver should have asked to put the bus, uh, asked if they needed the ramp. If they did need it, then yeah, awesome, put out the ramp, nothing to complain about. But this next thing that I'm about to say is where the, like, double standard kind of thing comes in, where she, or they, um, person in the wheelchair, wouldn't, imagine the wheelchair user went up and didn't ask for the ramp, but the bus driver came out and lowered it anyway and went on perfectly fine. That would be acceptable, right? But this next part where the bus driver is already out of the bus to put down the ramp, so they then start to push the wheelchair user up the ramp. Um, which obviously, if the person in the wheelchair is already asking for help, I don't think it's that bad to assume that they might want help with other bits, with getting up onto the bus. Um, and so this person is complaining about the bus driver not helping her but then also complaining about the bus driver helping her. And I think that's where my issue comes in. Now, the fact that she was, 
or the fact that they, uh, I'm sorry that I keep on getting their pronouns wrong. Um, I did check out their profile after, but the fact that they were complaining that the bus driver wasn't helping and then yelling at the bus driver because they were helping is a bit of an issue that I see with disability. Um, now, if someone, we'll get back to this point in a sec, because I feel like I'm kind of skipping ahead. Um, the next thing that happens in the video is obviously the person gets pushed onto the bus by the bus driver and the person in the wheelchair yells at the bus driver. Okay, sorry, do you want to get in second by me second? Okay. Oh, no, don't touch me without asking. Don't touch me, okay. Sorry, it's quite a reasonable expectation not to be touched, right? So the person making the video has also complained about the fact that this is technically assault. Um, and it, like, I think legally it is classified as assault, but I don't think it can be intended or you can take someone to court over it, depending on the situation. Now, if someone pushes me in my wheelchair without asking, I would ask them to stop. Just politely, like, sorry, please, can you stop pushing? Um, I don't need help, or uh, it kind of caught me by surprise, could you please stop, or something like that. But from the video, it doesn't seem like it. This person in the wheelchair just turns around and starts oh, yelling. No, don't touch me without asking. And that is where I think it's wrong, where you don't give them a chance to fix it. Obviously, the bus driver shouldn't have just pushed without asking. Um, but also, the person in the wheelchair shouldn't have gotten so worked up over it. Um, like, I, I feel like the better thing to have done is to have just calmly said, um, I don't feel happy with you pushing, please could you stop? That needs to be the end of it. People shouldn't just go around pushing people in wheelchairs without asking. Like. That, that shouldn't be a thing at all. I feel like if the person in the wheelchair had politely asked the bus driver to stop and then the bus driver had continued to push, then, yeah, I feel like it is kind of understandable to be a bit more firm, at least. Um, I wouldn't quite say be aggressive, but definitely be firm. Put your... I would say put your foot down, but, you know, not sure that's possible if you're in a wheelchair. <clears throat> so... Yeah, I feel like that would, the kind of reaction that she gave would be good if she had already asked the bus driver to stop a couple of times before. I usually give it a politely ask, slightly firmer, please can you stop that, and then flat out, like, having a go. And I feel like the way that she did it, where she was even saying stuff like, I believe after the bus driver had stopped and it was like it's quite a reasonable expectation not to be touched right and yeah yeah it is but if it's because someone was trying to be helpful and then you're just being rude about it then yeah i think there is a bit of an issue it's good to raise awareness of some of these issues as a like as i would agree um but the way that they're showing how to handle the issue isn't necessarily the right thing. Uh, I want to go to this contradiction thing that I started to mention about earlier, where the person has asked for help with the ramp and then complaining about... So she, this person is complaining about the fact that the bus driver isn't helping with the ramp. Already complaining about that. And then in the same video, within the same one minute, two minute period, also complaining that the bus driver is helping them is, isn't the best thing to do. It's, granted they are two very different things. It's like if someone was offering to open a door, right? Sometimes if I've got something in my hands, and I'm pushing along, and someone offers to open a door, I, I'd take the offer. And then if that same person started to just push me, I would be 
like I would ask them to get off. But the fact that they've asked for help with stuff to a complete stranger that doesn't know what they want or need, complaining about the fact that they didn't help, and then also complaining that they are helping. Like from the stranger's point of view, I can imagine from the bus driver's point of view that you've been asked to help and then you're being yelled at because you're helping. And I think that is part of the issue, is just not seeing other people's points of view. Um, I, f I personally find it not intimidating, but at least annoying and, depending on how it's done, a little bit scary, um, where you're just like casually pushing and then someone just comes up behind you taking control, you suddenly have no control of what you're doing for like a couple of seconds and then you realise what's going on and then you can take over. Um, a lot of the comments weren't right um, where they were saying quite hurtful things to, to this person um, and they were like defending this person in not necessarily the right ways. Now having it like saying that this person has assaulted you saying that the bus driver assaulted this person because they pushed them. Like, although it is technically correct, I, th I think it is legally, if you push someone in a wheelchair without asking, it is technically assault. But you can't be... I, I don't think you can be going around saying, this person has assaulted me because they tried to help me get up a ramp. Like, I don't think that is the right way to go about it. I, I wouldn't feel happy to say someone's assaulted me if they had tried to help me with something. Like, that is all they are trying to do. They were, I don't think the bus driver was pushing this person to be an arsehole. I don't think that was happening at all. I think this person has seen that you want help with something and then taken that help a little bit too far. So, it is a grey area where the bus driver should have asked if this person needed a ramp and they should have asked if they wanted some help getting onto the bus but I also think that the person in the wheelchairs or the person in the wheelchair is wanting this bus driver to assume that they want help with the ramp and then also in the same like video assuming wanting this bus driver to assume that they don't want to be pushed. I think both sides should have communicated better, and I feel like that is part of the main issue with disability, is just that communication, with, also with disabilities. And now people are going to be afraid to help people with a disability because of this one video where they've accused a man of assault because, oh, a woman, um, I don't think we actually see the bus driver, um, where we see this bus driver getting, getting accused of assault for trying to help someone. I think that is part of the issue, where this person has already been recording, by the way. Like, this person was recording with their phone. I don't know how their setup was, but they were recording sneakily, where they're not... Sh I, I, I'm assuming they were sneakily, otherwise... The angle would have been better, I don't know. But they were recording from the moment that the bus arrived. Like, the bus pulls up and they are already recording. So I don't know if they were expecting this person to be an arsehole bus driver or what. But it's, it's just not quite right. Something just doesn't sit right with me about the video. Um... From both sides, obviously, I've, I've said this multiple times, and I think this is going to be the last time that I say it, is the bus driver should have asked if the person needed help with the ramp. And then, obviously, done whatever they had said. And the bus driver should have asked if they wanted help up the ramp. That, like, if the bus driver felt like they wanted to help, obviously, like, if the person in the wheelchair wanted help getting up the ramp, they could have asked. But if the bus driver thought that this person could have used help getting up the ramp, then they also should have asked. So, but then also from the other side of things, 
the person in the wheelchair shouldn't have had this kind of double standard thing where you're wanting the bus driver to assume that you want help into the bus, but also wanting the bus driver to not assume that you want help getting into the bus. It is very grey area with this video where, yes, it is, I think, technically assault. Again, I haven't double checked it, but a lot of people have been commenting that, yeah, that is actually um, a form of assault legally. I don't know. Um, but also not wanting to make it seem like people with disability don't want help. Not everyone with a disability does want help. And I'm going to leave you with this final message is not everyone with a disability wants help. If we need it, we will ask for it. If you think we could use it, but are either too afraid to ask for the help or, you know, something where there's issues communicating, then as someone without a disability, you should ask before just randomly helping someone with a disability. Because sometimes it does make things harder. For example, I've fallen out of my chair before and been trying to get in it, but there's been so many people around trying to help me, making the situation worse, that it just doesn't end well. So ask if you think someone with a disability needs help. If, you're in a, if you've got a disability, ask for help if you need it. And I think that's how it should go. As for the whole assault thing, that's going to be a separate video, I think, because... It shouldn't be called assault for trying to help someone. I know someone's wheelchair is an extension of them, but also, you know, it, it's, it's someone trying to help at the end of the day. It's not as if they're trying to push you over. They're trying to help you up a thing. You know, it, they are very different things and they should be treated separately. So... That's going to be it for today's video, guys. I feel like I've repeated the same things over and over again because it's just so confusing to talk about because there's so many different opinions that you can get with this and neither side really handled anything that well. So, yeah, I hope you enjoyed my thoughts. If you did, feel free to leave a like, subscribe, all of that usual stuff, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching and bye.